whether you can make it in relationships or not, whether you're all googly-eyed and idealistic, or you're sick of the whole goddamn thing, we're going down to Horoscope Alley to find out the truth about relationships right now. So, you know, we're here to talk about relationships here. Obviously, I wonder our relationship. Where did you're, it go? You're in one, right? <laughs> yeah, we are. How, how long have you been in relationships? We've been living together for 32 years. Get out of here. Yeah. 32 you years? A good one. Wait a minute. Not th 32 years, like what, since you were like four or yeah, what? About, about that. Okay. What's the secret to the success? Um, having really, really long fuses. <laughs> Gee, I don't know what that means. Having right. long which? Fuses. <laughs> Fuses. Oh, Fuses. Oh, being patient. Really yeah. pa having patience. And lots of kids. There was a couple on TV, and he was 103, she was 101. And the interviewer said, what's the secret to your relationship? So the woman said, well, I don't think you should ever go to bed mad at each other. <laughs> and then Sherry at night helps, too. <laughs> I think it's the sherry. I don't think it's about being mad. Yeah, I think that. we go to bed mad a lot. <laughs> you do? Sure. Oh, yeah. Sure, it's better that way. <laughs> they asked the man what his secret was. He was 103. Yeah. Well, what is you? What? Yes, dear. <laughs> That's your secret. <laughs> That's mine, too. So. That, what sign are you? I'm a Gemini. You're a Gemini. And Leo. Do you know that that's the best combination? Geminis and Leos are the absolute best combination of the Zodiac because they're they're also like brother and sister. They're completely connected, hmm. and they they are they're they're best friends. All they are actually the best friends. They, yeah. Why do you th why do you say that? Because you know I think I think I could be probably more angry with him than anybody in the entire world, but then also have more connection. It's true. Yeah, I think that's. I, I've known couples who are Gemini and Leo, and you're the Leo. Yeah. So the thing is that the Leo is the actually the pole of gravity, okay? And the Gemini spins around it, and the Gemini comes and goes, comes and goes and goes. And, but the Leo is always there. Does that make sense? Oh, you described us. I'm like flitting all over the place. Can't keep up. He's like, I'll just stay right here. <laughs> no, but that's what's good because the Leo stands right there and, and he lets you go out, you see. He lets you go, but at a certain point, he jerks the string and you got to come back. That's right. That's so true. You true. nailed yeah. us. Anyway, you guys have beat the system. You beat society. I congratulate you and your four kids mm -hmm. and have a great weekend. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Cheers. All the best. Where is this relationship going? I try to get closer to you, but you're just so damn cold. Are you in love? No. Do you want to be? No. That's yes. Is that a yes? Yeah. Okay. No means I've been so hurt, I'm sick of the whole thing, but I still am hoping. Okay, that's a reasonable, that's a reasonable explanation. What sign are you? Aquarius. Aquarius really don't, they, don't, they, they, they need somebody to tie them down, but they don't want to be tied down. That's true. Because Aquarians would rather split than fight. Oh, I'll split. I'll find a way. <laughs> They're attracted to powerful people, but they can't stand the control. And assholes. And assholes? And assholes, yeah. Powerful and assholes. It's a combination of the two. Actually, I'm attracted to losers who are assholes. So that's a kind of a catch-22 on okay, that. Okay, so tell me, tell me, what constitutes a loser in a, for Homeless. you? Homeless. Homeless? Homeless and unemployed. I would assume that you're not really interested and attracted to homeless guys. No, that was an exaggeration because of my of one boyfriend. Because if you're interested in just homeless people, uh, I'm going to give you the name of a psychotherapist immediately. You're probably better off in friendship than you are in love affairs. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that that's very accurate. People are of two minds about relationships right now because Jupiter is in Aries, Saturn's in Libra, so people are hopeful. They want something to happen, but they're really scared to get into a situation that they can't get out of. I don't think monogamy really is a natural um, thing. Um, I think it's more something that society has you know, valued and it doesn't really make that much sense. I mean, pretty much every monogamous relationship I know doesn't work out. Do you know how many single guys are going to love to hear you say that?